Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Again, he had everything that a prophet can ask for. He was Khatim al anbiya wa Rusul. He was the seal of the prophets. He was the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Bik, before, because of you, and by you, we will seal all the messengers and no one will come after you. But then look. He tells us, I am the first servant that the earth will release him from their grave. He is the first person that will come out of his grave. He is the first person and the only person that Allah would allow to intercede for others. He is the only person, the only person that gates of Jannah would open, no one before him. Then look what he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look what he said. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There's only one spot. Imagine from the day that Allah created Adam and the jinns to the last day, there's only one spot that everyone that Allah created can aim and dream about. One spot. Not for two, not for second and third and fourth, one is spot. Did he say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I love my brother, my, my father Ibrahim Alaihi Salam, let him have that spot? Did he say, I want my brother Musa to have that spot? He said, No. After every adhan, ask Allah to give me the wasila, to give me that place, to allow me to be that place. That is only for one person. And that's why every time, and not only that, he said, if you do this for me, I will intercede for you on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah. After you heard the adhan, if you say, Allahumma rabbi hadihi da'awati tama wa salati al qaim ati Muhammad al wasila wa al fadila wa ba'athu Allahumma qam al Mahmud al ladi wa'ad, that is status. He said, then, my shafa'a is yours. See, your messenger of Allah did not want to be a second person because second is always forgotten. You know, imagine, look at the light, look around you, look at, see this light. They only, when they're talking about the history of energy and electricity, they will only mention the man who came up with, not the man who developed. When they're talking about, you know, telephones, they only mention the man who came up with. When we're talking about fuqaha, we always start with Abu Hanifa because he is the first place. There's always no place for second person. So as a Muslim, if you say, I am content, I'm happy, I'm satisfied with the second place, then I will tell you that is the status and the mentality of a loser. Because your messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said only one person. And he aimed that. He said the nations, the prophets will present their followers. I want to be the one who has most followers. Therefore, marry women and have children. He wants to be first. He wants you and I, because since we are his followers, to be first of nations. But look at the status of the Muslims nowadays. We are on the back burner. We are on the wagon. We are all way behind all other nations. You know why? Do you know why we became followers, not leaders? It's because we no longer aim high. 